Mr. Sri Shandaram Nayak. Shandaram Nayak, your time is 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Five minutes more. No, no. There are two more speakers. Sir, I just want to say one second. Uh -huh. Two weeks have elapsed uh -huh. since the railway budget was presented. You raise it, it again. Why do you raise it again? No. But you don't have a debate on the railway budget for oh. so long. Oh. Sir, oh. this is for tomorrow. unusual. This is very unusual. For tomorrow. For tomorrow. But you should uh, see. Your party leaders are attending the morning meeting and BSC meeting. You should uh, communicate with them also. Find out what is the decision. Why do, you, uh, why do you raise an issue again and again? I already replied to you. Ah, yeah, yes. Uh, okay. Oh, you are... General, okay. is wrong. We oh. want debate. Okay. And tomorrow, railway, uh, railway budget. Yeah. And uh, after that, uh, general yeah, yeah. Okay. No, we want debate. Don't worry. There will be, don't worry. Don't worry. There are MAG, your interest will be protected. What more you want? Okay, see, Sandaram Naik. Sir, I stand here to express my views on National Waters Bill 2015. Sir, if you see this bill, there are five clauses and 111 rivers are sought you to be nationalized. You, you, I tell you, you. During the entire period since independence, we have not nationalized more than six rivers. So you can imagine, should I say efficiency, or should I say that you are not given any thought what nationalization means and how much amount it will require. You have undertaken the responsibility of <laughs> nationalizing 111 rivers of the country. What is your objective? I really don't understand. And developing nationalization of rivers means a big thing. You know better because you have studied the subject. If I quote few rivers which you are supposed to nationalize, उसको घोषित कर रहे कोई राष्ट्रीय करण नहीं कर रहे language is राज्य के अधिकार वैसे ही कायम रहेंगे कि उसको जलवायु कर रहे under which rivers are nationalized you may use some other development you see the uh, may, may original act and you know what it what nationalization means you see the rivers which are sought to be nationalized you reply to me. when your time Bhima Minister. river with 139 kilometers of length. Chambal River, 402 kilometers. Damodar River, 135 kilometers. Gomati, 518. Kaveri River, 364 kilometers. Krishna River, 628. Leni River, 327. I have quoted a few rivers out of 111 rivers which you want to develop, you call it nationalization, with what funds and with what courage you have taken this responsibility of nationalizing 111 rivers, I don't understand. And what actually you propose to do to these rivers? And in how many years? Let me first ask you whether you have taken this matter with the cabinet. Obviously, you must have taken. 111 rivers matter nationalization taking before cabinet. Has any assessment of the money required, of the environmental impact, the views of state government and other stakeholders. Have you briefed the cabinet about the magnitude of the problem which is likely to be created when you take over these rivers? We would like to know in your reply. Very important. Number two, the dredging itself, let us take the dredging is one aspect because you want to utilize these rivers for navigation purposes, for transport, 
for tourism that means all these rivers you propose to develop dredging itself will cost crores and crores you cannot imagine i think you are a good calculator i i i'll be wrong to say that you cannot imagine you are imagine and you must have some people in mind also who will bring the resources that also you clarify first whether you have briefed the cabinet what about our objective and whether how these rivers are sought to be developed by you one by one whether you have prepared a time schedule for developing this time schedule where i see when dredging will be done for transportation when the dredging will be done for tourism and secondly presently the dredging corporation of india which situation is not that good what role you are going to give to the dredging corporation of india are you going to give the major jobs to the dredging corporation of india or you are keeping that corporation aside and bringing your own people what is mean by your own people i will explain further but what will be role of dredging corporation of india in this connection because dredging corporation of india presently is not able to fulfill the commitments unless you help the corporation in a better way in a sustainable way this corporation will not be any help to you and that will be a ground for you to engage other people other companies other corporation so is it your objective to go in this manner that dredging corporation we have but it has failed to give service and therefore i am engaging these other sources but excuse me saying i am telling you you are one of the important leaders of your party i respect you and i will prefer you to be in place of the person now because you have got some intellection you have got interesting you may be rash in your approach but i appreciate you at least we can talk to you you <laughs> <laughs> one is one is fooling the nation which is intelligence while other is fooling the nation with ignorance which is to be applicable you kindly see but there is a tiff competition going on between two leaders and let this bill should not be part of that competition i can understand national highways you have taken you have taken quite good initiative the other day i heard your speech in goa i was there and if i calculate the announcement that you made in goa i was shocked and that will be a wonder thing if it is re realized but i could calculate that was not a realistic thing you made several announcement in 10 minutes crores and crores rupees from where the government of goa is go going to bring the money from where you are going to give to the government of goa. i would like to urge upon you as a friendly advice please be realistic and you calculate the announcement that you have made in various state in last one month make the calculation you have made in the last one month and you will yourself not believe your figure because it is not a realistic figure you sought to nationalize five rivers from goa mandovi zuari kumbarzua mapsa chaporan sal six rivers these tiny states tiny state of goa you are nationalizing six rivers and i had in my statement earlier when you came to goa i had suggested that if you have got money to give if you are interesting in developing rivers give the money to state governments they will develop why you want to take over the rivers is it absolutely 
necessary to take over the rivers for the purpose of nationalization? Could you not give money to the state government and help them? You explain this distinction. Because nationalization, we mean we know once upon a time highways was nationalized, and subsequently government India, our government only at that time could not cope up with the work. Then it was given to private parties. You are going to be do it, doing it in the beginning itself, not waiting for later on. Your corporation will not do anything. In the beginning itself, you will start handing over the rivers of Goa. You will be selling the rivers. You will be selling virtually the rivers of India. Maybe Ganga, Jamna, whatever it is. You will be virtually selling the rivers to parties and some of them will be foreign parties. Unfortunately. Then you tell me and clarify. Please clarify. Once a river is nationalized, what happens to the land on both sides of the bank? On both sides of the bank, there are there will be land which will be required by your corporation. You may say anything, but the authorities which will control the rivers will demand a land on both sides of the bank. And can you say that, no, 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 we will not require any land on the bank. Let the state government have it. Can you say that? Say it in the house that we will not touch your land on both sides of the rivers. Because it does not happen. Because you will be requiring certain land, you will be demanding, or that corporation which runs also demanding. Now, as far as transport is concerned, what type of transport you would like to carry through these rivers? I can understand one is that goods, etc. What other type of transport, human transport, other type of goods, specify the goods you intend to carry through the transport so that we are also clear on this issue. You are, I heard sometimes that you wanted to allow state governments to develop the land on the side of this thing. If that is the case, you explain your plan whether you will first be taking the land, then allowing the state government to develop or what, or you will not touch the land at all. What type of development will be required on the land? Kindly explain this. What type of development? And in what manner you will allow the state government to develop? You will allow it as your land and allow it to develop, or you will say the land does not belong to the this thing and then allow. 15 minutes have been allotted. Please don't. don't Two minutes. And I'm the first speaker. It's never done. There are three more speakers. Oh, but I'm the initiator. Yes, that's why 15 minutes. Now, question is, now the first thing is this, according to me and according to my understanding, you want to develop all these rivers through PPP model. And therefore, you are not worried about how much money will be required. And if it is PPP model, you explain today only, because it is 111 rivers. And which are the partners, which will, which will include foreign partners also? Which are the partners you would like to engage for the purpose of developing these rivers? And there are some holy rivers also. In these holy rivers, whether you are going to bring in foreign partners to develop these rivers also, let us know, let us know and what proportion. Now, secondly, ex exactly, please say I, I have cited some kilometers on this thing. Supposing one river bank is 400 kilometers, how much of that land will be de developed or will be needed to be developed 
kindly explain this because that will give us an idea as to how much land will be needed. You know the story of industrial corridors, six industrial corridors. This is our, our plan only. In industrial corridor, you want Land Acquisition Act not to be applied because you want to give land on both sides of the corridor to your favorites. Six industrial corridors which are there, you are insisting that this should be exempted from the land equation. I'll take some shit. It should be exempted from land equation in order to give the private parties, your own people, the land to develop. And lastly, I would, I would like to tell you and ask you also whether you have made any study, thorough study of the environmental impact after nationalization regarding it because it will involve a lot of development on both sides of the river and 111 years. Thank you very much. Whether Thank you have made a study of the environmental Thank impact. Thank you very much. Um,